begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Find a position for your body that feels comfortable. Settle into that. Having established yourself here, allow your body to relax. Notice if there's muscular tension present anywhere in your body, maybe in the jaw or the shoulders, the arms, the hips, the legs, maybe in your hands or in your feet. Do a quick scan of your body and notice if there's any tension present. If you find any, invite your body to relax, to loosen, to let go of that tension. You feel your body here in this comfortable posture, having relaxed any tension that might be present. Feel what that's like. If there's any pleasure or satisfaction associated with that comfort or relaxation, even a little bit, really enjoy it. Savor that comfort. Savor that relaxation. From here, if you'd like, if it would feel good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Knowing that simply by smiling, you allow your physical body to move you towards emotional happiness. If it feels good for you, establish a smile. and See if you can maintain it for the practice period. If at any time it fades, no problem. Just simply Return the smile to your face. And the same goes for comfort and relaxation. If you become uncomfortable or tight, simply reestablish comfort and relaxation. You can always come back here. Take a few moments to reflect on things in your life that you can feel grateful for. Maybe they're big things or small things. Maybe they're particular to what's happening for you in your life right now. Or maybe they're totally ordinary everyday things.
bring to mind one or a few or many things you can connect to a felt sense of gratitude with. Things that you feel grateful for. Reflect on those for a few moments. Use your mind, your mental imagery, or your mental talk to reflect on these things that you're grateful for. And see if you can feel that gratitude in your body. That may or may not be available to you. But if it's possible, really feel and enjoy that felt sense of gratitude. Savor it. Soak it up. Continue to reflect on things that you can feel grateful for, for another moment. Very good. Now bring set to mind someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Maybe it's a real person or animal in your life, a friend or family member, a small child or a pet. Maybe it's even someone imaginary, just imagining a puppy or a kitty. doesn't really matter who you choose. Just bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel loved for. And see that person in your mind's eye. Visualize them and Perhaps imagine them being happy with a big smile on their face or laughing. Perhaps a shared memory where you two were very happy together. You can be creative. Anything that will make you feel happy works. You simply want to intend happiness for this person and to feel that in our bodies.
if it helps, you can use phrases, mental talk, to clarify and specify this intention. Saying something like, I love you so much, or I really care about you, or just want you to be happy. Or a phrase that's particular to this person and your relationship with them. Could even be a series of phrases that you improvise on the spot. Again, it doesn't really matter so much how you do it. The main thing is to intend happiness for this person and to feel that in your body. To really wish them well. To really feel that love in your body. Continue to wish this person well, to cultivate a felt sense of love for them for another moment. Again, if there is any happiness that comes from this activity, from doing this technique, notice that and really enjoy it. it might be small, but it's very significant. So really enjoy it, really savor it. Feel the happiness, delight in the happiness. Very good. Now we're gonna to transition to practicing congratulating ourselves. Consider what in your life you've been doing recently. And select one or a few things that you can feel proud of, that you've done well, that are worth congratulating. Could be something big like a promotion at work or a project that you finished. Or it could be something small like taking the time to exercise or take care of your body. It could even be as small as brushing your teeth or drinking a glass of water. It doesn't really matter so much. We just want to practice the skill of congratulating ourselves feeling good about ourselves. So think of one or more things that are possible for you to congratulate yourself for. And once you've selected these things, transition into practicing this skill, congratulating yourself. 
we're going to be using primarily mental talk tonight, phrases in our mind. But you can really experiment with this in any way that you like. As always, feel free to be playful and to adapt the techniques to what works for you. But what I'd suggest is talking yourself up, just like you would talk up a friend, congratulate them, telling them they've done such a good job. Do the same for you. So for me, I published a blog post yesterday that I'm proud of. So my mental talk might sound something like this. Tashin, you did such a great job. I'm so happy you published that blog post. I'm really proud of you. I know it was hard and it was really impressive how you did that. I'm so proud of you. Of course, you can use any phrases that you like that would feel good and authentic for you. That's just an example. Feel free to improvise and be creative. Take some time to congratulate yourself on one or more things that you've done well recently, whether they're big or small. See as a challenge if you can keep a continuous stream of positive self-talk going. Continuing to congratulate yourself over and over again. Keeping that stream of mental talk going. You did such a great job with that. I'm so proud of you. You did a wonderful job. This is gonna help so many people I'm so proud of you. Just keeping a stream of positive self-talk going, just like that. So often for many of us, there's a continuous stream of negative self-talk, of inner criticism. And while this won't completely resolve it, it really helps if you can practice doing the opposite thing, praising yourself, congratulating yourself, celebrating yourself. And take the time to do that now. Again, see if you can keep that stream of mental talk going. If you find that that's hard, you can simply say one phrase over and over again, You're saying, great job, or, terrific, or I love you. Or if you're enjoying it, you can continue to improvise 
using different phrases that resonate for you. Doesn't really matter so much how you do it. Just put in the repetitions. Practice congratulating yourself. See if you can say something to yourself that you'd really love to hear from someone else. The perfect words of congratulation. Again, check that you're keeping a continuous stream of mental talk going. That you're actually hearing phrases in your mind every few seconds, whether it's the same phrase over and over again or many different phrases that you're improvising. That's one of the skills that we're using here. Keeping that stream of positive self-talk going. And of course, using that to congratulate ourselves, to celebrate ourselves. See how kind to yourself you can possibly be. There are no limits on kindness. Really challenge yourself. How kind can I be as I congratulate myself? And again, as always, for all of loving kindness practice, if there is that felt sense of happiness as you congratulate yourself, notice that and really enjoy it. 
It might be small to start, but if you can feel happiness in your body as you do this exercise, really savor it, really soak it up. Because simply by paying attention to it and enjoying it, it will grow and spread and it will become more frequent. You'll be able to feel that happiness more often. So enjoy the rewards of doing this technique if they're available to you. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on your experience during this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Were there any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 